And I want to say a good morning to one sweet lady behind uh, the consult and helping us, our production assistant for the morning, Matilda Vomaga. And uh, please do enjoy your day. Mm. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a story that I've got to share. So Matilda and Na... Oh, Matilda Vomaga. And you And the two beautiful ladies. There are a lot of ladies. There, there are uh, a good number of them single. Matilda is one. Matilda and Na... Mm. Uh, Sakwaba of myjoinline.com. Mm. So we put up posts, uh, you know, <laughs> and I am the one who is doing the screening. So if you're interested in any, any of the yeah. young ladies, any uh, of the two. The thing I've noticed about Matilda is that since the last year, she's been attending a lot of weddings lately. Yes. And you know, sometimes when the ladies are waiting upon the Lord, <laughs> oh God, they try to keep, they try to key in and manifest. <laughs> And a key into testimony so yeah. that they can manifest. Mm. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Oh God. oh God. Okay, so on behalf of the single ladies, <laughs> uh, the two ladies, uh, because Na and Matilda. Exactly. Oh God, you God, you have God. to come through me, and I'll, I'll put the 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 office line out there that between six and ten, it's open. You can call. That's <laughs> when I can screen you proper. Oh, I hear somebody called yesterday. Please call only Matilda, when I'm off air. Vamaga. And I hear there is the KK, but the KK guy and has nah, not come nah, through nah, me. Nah. So, you know. Okay, now let's do the And now we have our lead producer, Derek, of course, some who is not able to talk to many women, so <laughs> says that Na is available. So sure. No, 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 no. He has a long way to go, so you've got to work on him first <laughs> before we find him a lady. Yeah, it's true. It's yeah. true. It's true. He has a long way to go. <laughs> let's yeah, do the Daily true. Graphic newspaper no, front page of the graphic. Uh, we've got the finance minister on the front page. Government committed to IMF deal. Ken Oforiat is saying there. Uh, NHIS owes some service providers for seven months. In some instances, we've had 11 months, but this one says seven months. Uh, inquiry into bribery scandal in Parliament to open to public. Oh, yeah, that's what we've been looking forward to. That story on page 16 in the graphic newspaper. Uh, let's see if we can share a bit of details uh, on this. What kind of public inquiry is this going to be? Open to the public. Are they going to have cameras um, sit there to take people's testimonies and, and all of that? Here we are. It says that indications. Oh, it's indications. Indications are that the five-member committee appointed by Parliament to investigate the bribery allegation involving some members of Parliament and the Minister of State will conduct public hearings a highly placed source said for the sake of transparency, the committee had decided to open up the inquiry to the public. It said for that reason, the doors of the committee will be open to the public to afford some people, or to afford people the opportunity to appreciate what would transpire. It was not clear during the discussion whether the committee would allow live television or radio coverage. I guess that's what we're waiting for, for them to say that we're going to do this and the cameras and the microphones can pick what we are um, saying. Let's do the back page of the Daily Graphic. Cape Coast Court Complex closed down for renovation. The Cape Coast com Court Complex has been closed down for emergency renovation. A statement from the Judicial Service dated February 7, 2017 and signed by Mr. Justice Alex Pukwe Champong. The Judicial Secretary said the complex will be closed down from Wednesday for an assessment by the Architectural and Engineering Services Limited. It said a report received by the Chief Justice last Tuesday indicated that the building was in a deteriorating state, especially the concrete roof slabs, which required immediate attention. The court complex, which is over 30 years, has seen little renovations, and its closeness to the sea has contributed to its deteriorating state. But I've got a question for the Judicial Service. Why didn't they do this? Uh, on the, you know, they've, they've got these short breaks, you know, this vacation period. The legal vacation. Exactly. Why didn't they do it at that time? Why would you do it when? Sometimes. Uh, around this, like, I can't think far on this one. That's it for the Daily Graphic. We have front page of the Ghanaian Times available. Government will revive Anglo God Ashanti. And um, we also have Amido Redraw's case against Woyoma. Uh, NSS terminates appointment of December 2016 recruits and uh, Zungu fan to cover all Zungus in Ghana. You, had a, you have a picture there of uh, Alhaji Boniface Sadiq who has been on the show already. Minister-designate mm. for inner city and Zungu development appearing before the appointment committee 
of Parliament. On the back page, we have no fish shortage. Fisheries Minister assures, and then rabies virus killed 55 last year. It's a story filed by Benedicta Jima Foley. And that reminds me of a story or a documentary put together by Seth Kwame Boati on rabies and its negative impact on the health of many people, and especially uh, those of us who have uh, as pets, dogs, and how we also need to make sure we look out for stray dogs in our communities or wherever we tend to visit often. It's as dangerous as it is. The latest um, was about uh, an eight-year-old son of a Gambian current president who was killed as a result of a dog bite. Mm. Uh, and the infection ultimately from rabies. Mm. All right, let me do the Daily Dispatch newspaper. Front page of the Dispatch, they've got some analysis from the Vetting Committee, and this is interesting. Three ministers were asked 292 questions over eight hours. So Miss Gloria Kufu is on the front page, Mr. Ken Oforiata and Miss Otiko Jaba. I guess these are the three who were in all asked 292 questions mm -hmm. over eight hours mm. wow. yeah that's it for the dispatch yes so we have front page of the daily guide uh cid grills kofi adams over nine missing cars and and we're told that allegedly two of, of the cars in the pictures there are those cars that belong to kofi adams they took the cars from his residence amidu freeze woyoma national service sucks <laughs> 205 illegal staff, and they put the illegal in, in court. And then you go to the center spread of the paper. It says Nanado Dankwe Kufado, who is the president of the Republic of Ghana, wins the uh, most influential public figure for the last year. You can see Nanado Dankwe Kufado in a pose with um, one of her daughters, the beautiful daughter of Nanado Dankwe Kufado, the president of the Republic of Ghana. You're through? Yes. All right, let's uh, turn our attention to the Business Finder newspaper. The Business Finder front page of the paper, IMF deal, new targets imminent. And it says discussions between Ghana's economic team and the International Monetary Fund are set to generate revised targets. We should see the Ghanaian economy placed on a sound footing after years of turbulence. Uh, also, city depreciate 2.80% in January and will make local firms competitive that's according to the business development minister mr ibrahim awal that's it for the front page headlines in the business finder we've got another business paper the mm. business and financial the business times. and financial times has on the front page mango seasonality guards farmers processes and then we're told that beige uh, group has acquired uh, ulife that is um, unique life assurance company limited and then we have real estate, tourism, maritime, kick-starting, tourism, and hospitality industry. On the back page, we have Fiasi Mining, a rural bank, inaugurates a new Abuso office complex. And the GTP builds modern canteen for Tema Community for primary. Mm. Congratulations. Uh, that's laudable. Very. Part of their social corporate social responsibility, I'm sure. Uh, South African investors target port industry. Great, 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 great one, too. Ghana is not broke, after all. There's mango on the front page of BNFT. What more can we add? Beach has acquired you life. Yeah. Uh, okay. Multimedia Let's group turn our attention. So Let's well. turn our attention to the online portals. Let's so we have to go to the online portals. Mamadi, we saw Baji ready with MajorOnline.com. Okay, on MajorOnline.com today, SA pasta serves rat poison to congregation. So we're, we're tired of these pastors who give their congregation all sorts of things. Did they die? Once they didn't I, die, it means that he was able to... No, but if, if they, if they can't... He was able to pull the miracle off. If they can't differentiate between <laughs> what is good and what is evil. That's their congregants. Exactly. Well, let, that's their case. Let them that's continue. Their cup, cup. Let them continue to take whatever the pastor gives them. If they well, die, they, they die. If they survive, they survive. Let's move uh, on. That reminds me of uh, somebody <laughs> who tried to imitate Jesus walking on water and got drowned. <laughs> was struggling for life. <laughs> anyway. Uh, let's let's was that, that, that person was a pastor? Hmm? Was, that's a pastor. Wow. Yeah. He felt the power. Yes. He, he thought, felt the power. He thought he had the power to walk on water. Yeah. <laughs> but you see, you must not because think. Because the Bible said Jesus walked on 
Yeah. On the sea. Whoa. You have to let the power <laughs> overtake you. You don't have and to water. overtake the power. <laughs> Otherwise, you drown. Water. Then you're going down. <laughs> Say, Buku Fubu. Yeah, you. And you're back in the world for free. You're going straight to hell, man. All right, let's move on. I saw my journal line today. Uh, Beja Christ, you live that same story in the newspapers, also on the website. Uh, Valerie Sawyer writes, fast as lightning. Uh, it's a piece that I know will be interesting. You can read mm. if you have the time. Make the time. It's about, I think it's about the controversy of whether CEOs need to, you know, CEOs of uh, the state's enterprises. Mm. At least we, all the ministers go off, etc. But the CEOs also have to go off. Ah, cease to hold office. A CEO I guess it's the way they are appointed. So yeah, it's the way. See, we talk. I think we talked about you, it Once you receive yesterday. the appointment through Charlie. No, no, no. But it shouldn't really matter. There are people who For rise example, through the current the NHIA, NHIA. You know, and he had to resign. He, he'd been there since exactly. the inception. Since uh, so the since the the whole institution started. The fact that you rise to the position of CEO doesn't mean you must resign. Or, but yeah. you know, but it's tricky because if you don't resign, me. if you don't resign, you could suffer there. You know that. That reminds me. Should I write to the position of CEO? Because when I know that, can we move Let's on? say I'm 45 um, and I have to resign. Mr. Patrick the next Gomez, month, please let's when move on to in. other stories. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's look at this. Uh, Amidu withdraws suit to orally examine Wyoming. This showdown won't happen after all. I mean, it's disappointing, isn't it? You can read about the, the, some of the reasons. <laughs> 205 NSS workers employed in December 2016 sacked. The question I'm asking is, can they sue the NSS for this? Uh, Fair Wages CEO announces resignation. This is also one of the very hardworking gentlemen. Absolutely respect him. And when I saw that resignation yesterday, I was so disappointed. The resignation takes effect May. Is he a political person? Seventeen. He's not. I mean, he's George not like Graham. a political. Yeah, George Smith Graham. Yeah. Um, like a professional. He's resigned. You know. Yeah, he's resigned from the Fair Wages and Salaries Commission. This actually was not supposed to be in the media. It was supposed to be a private letter. Oh, George Smith Graham. Yeah, he's a good man. Yeah, he's a hardworking yeah, yeah, yeah. man. Very dedicated. Is he person. political? I don't think so. No, he just does not. his work. I don't see him as such. No, he, no, he's not. No. Oh, His, he was employed to carry out... Where is he? Uh, Let's call him and see. <laughs> this is serious. Though. Yeah, he says he's going to pursue other interests. Okay. But we all know I why, think he right? understands. He understands the system. You know, yeah. sometimes we like people like this. When you understand this, you need to new government. But that's not healthy. Work. But that's not healthy. That's no, not I know at all. Ideally, it's not healthy. But that's how we run the system. You can't blame them. He understands. Because he knows that if he doesn't go... If he doesn't vol voluntarily go, no, no. they could force him out when he's not ready to. Or you can be mafiaed. I'm not saying this because I can prove it. They'll allow it. you to rot there, but <laughs> <laughs> it will work. A lot of things will be put on your head. Okay, let's move on. Mm. But now I think we, we already haven't gone through this uh, single spine thing correctly. Because we have the National Labor Commission. No, he's gotten to stages. So if you look at that letter, mm. he, he'll, t he'll tell you the three stages, you know, what he was asked to do and where he's gotten to, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll scrap 17.5% VAT on domestic travel. The Asian minister sharp, 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 designates. Uh, Charlie, this is a correct move. I'm sure industry people would love that. Uh, Zono well, Development Fund, that. not for marriage, funerals, aldorins. Uh, that's according to the minister in charge of that. Yeah. I so hope he was not saying that. that those in Zongos, they come for money for funerals. I, I hope that's not what he was No, I'm sure it's be, this response will be based on the question that was put ah. to him. Uh, because we need probe to know the into way parliament the, mm. bribe allegation to open to public. Okay, so the same, but we need to get like a concrete uh, message from parliament that we're opening it up. It will be like just the, like the appointments committee setting. We'll allow cameras... When the people come, yeah. You are sure? No, I'm saying that that's the, like. I'm not sure that's. That's the saying. feeling you get that it's going to be public, but how public is it going to be? Those are the answers that we need. That's just what I'm saying. Okay, so that's it for myjoyonline.com. Just click and read more of the stories on the page. Uh, Roland. City FM, and we have other stories about sacked NSS recruits uh, must go to court. Dr. Kbasa White. Mm. And they seem to have received counsel from uh, Mama Vyoso Abwaje this morning. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. 
to listen to CTFM. Mr. Kasaga, Nanado forced to use his 10-year-old uh, BMW. Oh, we had a lot of cars. For instance, we had the famous Ford vehicle, right? Because we were told it was part of the, the fleets. Yeah? And then over 200 cars missing from presidency, according to Eugene Ahi. Wow. Okay. And SS Council's last-minute NDC recruitment. Hmm. Can we, um, um, Gomez, please, can we click on the missing car saga? Nanado but I'm wondering, uh, no, no, the but I'm wondering yes. if I was part of this, this one, what would I do? Uh, I'm, I'm wondering, how, so how many cars were there in, in all? Yeah? So the presidency has revealed that there are 208 cars unaccounted for at the Flagstaff Houses vehicle pool following the change in government on January 7, 2017. The Director of Communications of the Presidency, Eugen Ahen, indicated that this was detected after the assessment of five car models in the car pool inventory of the Flagstaff House. So just these five models account for 208 vehicles, which we strangely cannot find. And that's a quote from Mr. Ahen. Breaking down the current situation with the cars, Mr. Ahen said, quotes, in total, if you look at the document provided to me by the transport officer, we're supposed to have a total of 196 Toyota Land Cruiser vehicles. We're supposed to have some Toyota Land Cruiser Prados, a total of about 73, and the Mercedes-Benz, BMWs, and other vehicles. But what we came to meet was something that surprised all of us. For example, you take a look at the Toyota Land Cruiser vehicles, we're supposed to have 196 Toyota Land Cruiser vehicles at the presidency. We only came to meet 74. That means you have a total of 24. No, where am I? You have a total of 122, which we still cannot find. For the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado, the total is 73, but we only came to meet 20. So you have a 43 difference. You look at something like the Mercedes-Benz, there were 24 in total, but we came to meet 11. Toyota Avalons, there were 28, but we came to meet two. And for the BMWs, there were six, and we came to meet only two. Ooh. Charlie, don't you want to work in the presidency? It's not only presidency, in government. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, but this is not the end of this. We have to suddenly try and find some answers. We have to speak to the transition team. I think this will be sweet, too. Yeah. Why is it that? The transition team and then the previous Why administration. I didn't join political party, so I'll be soft media work. Okay, keep dreaming. Uh, let's do BBC finally before we make way <laughs> for sports. <laughs> uh, let's do BBC before we make way. Okay, so crisis hit Somalia, uh, elects new president. Somalia's MPs choose a Somali US national as a new president in a vote held in an aircraft hangar. <laughs> <laughs> uh, For real? Ghana, we, we improve. All. No, so no, we no, try. no. It's not we improved. We are developed. Ours is not, yeah, we're developed in that sense. Oh. Yeah. I thought we'd say everything Ghana is crisis. Look at BMW, said we're not even. <laughs> <laughs> at least, but we know the numbers, right? Yeah, right, right. We know the numbers. Uh, so, uh, there are other stories yeah, on There's the website, a story right? also that's interesting. Equatorial Guinea, apparently, they moved the, the government uh, administration into a forest headquarters. Yeah. Please click on that story. Let, let's read. Yes, click, <laughs> click on it. They've moved the capital from Malabo or someplace like that. Okay. Okay, it says that the government of Equatorial Guinea has moved its headquarters from the coastal capital of Malabo to an unfinished city deep in the rainforest. President Teodoro Obiang... Nguema Mbasogo aims to use the country's oil world to make Jiblo holes, uh, Jiblo holes. So essentially, he wants the to future. develop that place. You know what happened was that, you know, that place that he was, eh, Malabo, eh? Charlie, mercenaries come, they just come through the sea, you know, come and attack. And you know, the place is just a small, mm. a small town. Wow. It's understood the MPs will stay there initially for three months. Chairing his first meeting in Jiblo Ho, also known as Oyala, Prime Minister. Francisco Pascual Ob Obama <laughs> Asui. Asui. warned <laughs> MPs not to treat the move as a holiday. Your relocation yeah. here yeah. does not mean that you are engaging in tourism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, oh, so this is. Yeah, this is a place. They are not wow. Wow. This is a large area was clear in 20. They are now still developing the area. Wow. Africa, we joke. Are there more pictures? So why don't we, where we develop it's the place before we move? It's not far from the eastern border with Gabon. Surrounded by several national parks, 
incredible if you want to. Yeah, but this is, this is, no, no, this listen. could the turn Nigerian, out to be no, one of the, the best moves. The Nigerians did it. In the mid 80s, they did it. Mm. When they found oil from the 70s, they decided to build a new city, Abuja. So they built fresh. Okay, so and build before there. you move. And build before you But this yeah. one, you don't <laughs> want to do uncompleted. Like the way we do in Ghana, uncompleted house. You are in it and then you build a wall. <laughs> it's one time, then you finish with the chamber hall. Then you are in it and then you, you see. In it's Africa style. In eight man. years' time, then you have your self contained. Yes, Africa so style. So when they say, What's your house? So I have my self contained. So give them 10 years. <laughs> no, but this is Africa small, mentality. Small. That's why the white people they come. You see, every place is paved because they do the thing. You pay mortgage twenty years all your life. Do we look white to you? No, but we have to. T we, have to <laughs> we have to think. <laughs> we have to think white. We go and put people in <laughs> forest area. Even the daily cost of trekking up and down will be more. I mean, sometimes it doesn't. You have to just work it. Out. Have you been uh, in uh, Africa all as well? Africa, why why is it we do things like this? Let's do a little money moment just yeah. before we make way for sports. So yesterday we put 2020 each. I covered yesterday and today. So we're not putting any cash in our boxes. But what we want to do is to encourage you to put those coins, leftover coins, the little monies. If you're spending 20 Ghana CDs on lunch, why don't you just, you know, divide it into two? Put 10 somewhere safe and then, you know, spend the, the 10 on lunch. Uh, but like Roland would say every day, this is not your main source of saving. It should uh, not be. Try and do the other investments. Uh, the insurance companies have also so uh, there are also other investments. We have uh, discount houses or financial houses who can yeah. give you various uh, terms of fixed deposits, and even you can invest on land in landed property. Okay. You can buy purchase some lands and build a house if you can. Yeah. yeah. Do okay. something with your but money. But this one is just. In case, you know, because yeah. sometimes when you want to this de one, it's for holiday. disinvest, it takes That's a while. Holiday, this one, you just break, break the thing. And End of year, no, put for holiday. Yeah. So, so we hope that you, you're safe. Myself and the family, mm. go and chill out when we're off the show. Yeah. Of the year. I, I heard about a, a place in Ivory. I hear it's fantastic. I think that's where I will go with my money. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't yeah. know that if I know where I'll go to Dubai. Dubai. I'm exploring. But I don't know whether the Dubai money can enter this. <laughs> <laughs>